name's Adrian Young, and uh, I'm from Marysville, Ohio. Uh, originally, I'm not really from anywhere. I was an army brat growing up, so just lived in um, different countries for two years at a time, but went to high school in Marysville and um, did my undergraduate degree here, and I got degrees in history and international relations. My father taught history at the Air Force Academy, and uh, my mother actually ran a, a base museum when we were in the army, and so uh, it was sort of just suffused every element of life growing up. Um, so in some sense, it felt a little bit preordained, but uh, I also quite wanted to be a scientist. So when I came to Ohio State, I wasn't sure if I wanted to uh, become a biologist or a historian. Um, I think that's what drew me to history of science, actually. It was a way of combining both of those passions. Uh, I love being a history major at Ohio State. Uh, it was just astounding the range of specialties that were offered by the faculty. Um, I, I focused on modern Europe, but uh, even so, I really enjoyed taking classes just across uh, the catalog. So my project is about how the science of research into human ancestors developed across the 19th and 20th centuries. And a lot of that work was done in the colonial periphery, because that's just where human ancestor fossils were especially abundant. And I was really interested in how those fossil sites were discovered, uh, how the actual uh, f fossils themselves were uh, produced and unearthed, and what social processes were involved, um, what kind of uh, unwritten about, unpaid, um, invisible actors were involved from local communities in producing those fossils, how uh, local scientists on the ground identified them, and how they entered larger transnational scientific networks. So to do that kind of work, I had to go to both Metropolitan Archives in uh, London and in Manchester, a couple other places in the UK, and I had to go to regional and colonial archives in Africa um, so that I could get both sides of the story, both um, how those fossils were the originally produced and what became of them as they entered into scientific discourse. So uh, I applied for some money uh, from the biology department. They had a um, something like $5,000 on offer for students who wanted to do a project in the history or philosophy of life science. And I thought, oh, you know, paleoanthropology, this would, this would work. So I, I applied for it, and I was surprised. I got it. And uh, I used that money to go to archives in um, Great Britain and uh, South Africa. And that was my first chance to do real archival work, and it was really exciting. And uh, I used a lot of that in the honors thesis. Uh, so right now I'm finishing up my dissertation at Princeton University, and uh, I'm on the academic job market right now. Uh, but I'd very much like to be a, a history professor somewhere, someday. We'll see how it goes. Uh, um, I really enjoyed taking courses at a research university like Ohio State, because uh, you take courses from professors who are producing new work in their specializations, and so you can go out and read their books and uh, realize that what they're teaching is driven by what they're researching and writing. I would say in the four years that you're here, uh, make the most of your time. Don't just go to lectures and um, sit passively and receive, um, but take the time to go meet with your professors, um, take the time to do independent studies and independent research, because it's in, um, it's in those areas that you can really um, do something special.